y'all. So I'm starting off with Benefits Professional, and I'm going to prime my T-zone, which is my forehead, my cheeks, and a little bit on my nose. Then I'm going in with L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color W7, and I'm dotting that on my face with my fingers. Then I'm blending it in with my Sigma F80 brush. And I'm actually buffing it in by pressing in my skin with the brush and the foundation. That way it goes into the skin and it doesn't just smear, you know, all over the face. Because then it'll look streaky. But this brush is amazing, so you have pretty good chances with it. <laughs> then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette with the color Salt to Caramel. I'm going to be blending that in my crease from inner corner to outer corner with the Big Tapered Fluffy Brush from Sigma as well. I think it's the E40. Please don't quote me. I'm sorry. Then I'm taking the NYX Love and Paris palette and I'm using that peach color right there and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease and I'll be building that up as well. And I was in a rush, guys. I apologize. I had like a big family cookout downstairs. Well, my family did. And there were people downstairs and I was running late, of course. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Eye Studio palette and the Coral Oasis one, and I'm be and I'm gonna be using that first color all over my lid. And as you see, it's messy. I apologize. That's no excuse, but I'm gonna be blending that out, so don't worry. Then I'm taking that peach color and that burgundy color, and I'm gonna be putting that in my lid to build back more color in the crease to define it more. I'm obsessed with that color. The burgundy one, it's so pretty. Then I'm taking a Rimmel London Cole Nude Liner, and I'm going to be putting that on my waterline. Then I'm taking Max Prep and Prime um, Pen in Light Boost to highlight and contour. No, highlight and conceal my under eyes, a little bit on my nose, and my forehead. And with this Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush, I'm going to be patting that in. I don't want to smudge it, you know, smear it all at once. Pat, that way it gets into the skin and it doesn't move my foundation. Then I'm taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep with the Duo Fiber Brush. And I'm going to be putting that on my face to set everything. Then I'm taking that peach color from the NYX Love and Paris palette and I'm going to be putting that on my waterline as long, I mean, as well as my, what's it called, the burgundy color. And it's not my waterline, it's my lower lash line. I apologize. Then I'm taking NYX brown eyeliner pencil and I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corner of my lower lash line to give it some more depth. Not a smoky look, but just to make it look a little bit, you know. I guess a little tiny bit of smoke, but not really. Then I'm taking Maybelline's Rocket Mascara, and I'm going to be putting that on my lashes, obviously. And I'm very messy, so don't worry. I'm going to clean that up. I'm literally like the messiest person with mascara. It's so annoying. Then I'm taking Milani's Baked Blush in the color Luminoso, and I'm going to be putting that on my cheeks. It's so pretty. It's like a peach, frosty looking type. Then I'm using a red lip liner from, I think, Paleto, and I'm just lining my lips and filling them in. Then I'm going in with L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the color Cherry Tool. And putting that on my lips over top of that lip liner. <laughs> then taking NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu and putting that on my lips as well. And I forgot to highlight, which is my favorite part, and I'm putting it a little bit on my nose, the inner corner of my eyes, my brow bone, and the top of my cheeks.
And I'm using Max Soft and Gentle, by the way. And this is the final look. I've been really loving peaches and burgundies lately, so this is why this is my go-to look. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.